chords in black metal. So it goes beyond just playing power chords when you want to create interesting, uh, interesting sounding black metal. So I expect you guys to know your two note power chord shapes that you've, that you've probably learned already and the three note power chord shapes where you add another root note. What you can do is invert the power chord. So if I were to take an E power chord here, just normal two note power chord here. So first thing on the seventh fret of A, third thing on the ninth fret of D. What you can do is add in the low E, but not with an open E. What I'm doing there, as you can see, on the seventh fret of E, I'm adding in another B note. Now the B note in this chord is on the seventh fret, ninth fret, sorry, on D. But if you add this note here, E, the seventh fret on A, you get a really, really heavy sounding E power chord. Now the song Puritania by Dimmu Borgir is 95% using this one chord. The only time it doesn't use an inverted power chord is those last two chords, which is just a normal normal A and G sharp power chord. And you can extend that even further by adding in another E note. So if we go back to our E power chord, that's our normal two note power chord. So, and then either or, you can go from the inverted power chord or the normal power chord. In this case, we'll go from the inverted, inverted power chord the tab would be seven, seven, nine on E, A, and D. Now, if we add our little finger on the ninth fret of G, adding another E note, you can extend the sound. It's a very grand sounding chord, very, very Nile-like. But obviously not as low, because we're not playing in drop A, for fuck's sake. And those, those are two ways of playing power chords that you can move around quite nicely. You know, just piss around, piss around with it, move it across the entire neck, move it two frets up, five frets up, whatever, you can do anything you want. And we can also expand on dyads. So if you remember our first lesson, we talked about our minor dyads, two note chords, and our major dyads. Again, another two note chord. You can extend those a bit more by making four minor chords. So going from your minor dyad, so in this case E minor, we can add in this note here, the 4th fret on G. So you get a full E minor chord with a root, a minor 3rd and a 5th. That's a chord used a lot by Dark Funeral. Just, that's me literally just pissing around making dark funeral-ish chord progressions by using just this one chord. Now you can obviously move this chord around um, with the same shape anywhere between E and G. So there I've played an F minor, which is what I went through before, the E minor, 7 on A, 5 on D, 4 on G, move it one fret up, then you get F. Now what you can do on the low E string is move it from the 8th fret on A to the 9th fret of E. So the notes would be 
ninth fret on low E, the seventh fret on A, and then the sixth fret on D. And we can extend that even more by adding in our low E again. So just like inverted power chords, we can add our low E string into the chord. So the notes would be 7 on E, 7 on A, 5 on D, 4 on G. Now if you move that down to the 6th fret, you get the first chord in I'm Abomination. How would that riff goes? I've forgotten it. Yeah, whatever. Really, really sick sounding chord. One, one of my favorites. And we can apply the same thing to the major chords. So, here's E minor that we've discussed. Now let's move down to D major. So we can get, you know, quite um, a melodic immortal-ish riff. Immortal play in a different way, I'll show you that in a second. So here we have 5th fret on A, 4th fret on D, and 2nd fret on G. create very um, atmospheric riffs by adding in major chords from time to time. And again with this, it's a bit more difficult, we can add in our lower E. So for this D major chord, the notes will be 5 on E, 5 on A, 4 on D, and 2 on G. And if I were to use both of those chords, um, the minor shape with 4 notes and major shape in 4 notes together could sound something like this. example you can piss about with it all the riffs and most of these videos are purely improvised I never really plan these lessons through I just uh, think about what I do what I want to do and I record it so an, an immortal way to play chords by still using major and minor chords they do it in two ways as a, as well as using those three to four note power chords so if you want to take um, one of the songs, for example, uh, Blashuk, you know. Okay, what I'm doing there is just playing normal E power chord here. But the way I'm playing, this is a C major, by the way, instead of just playing, we can move some of the notes around and play it like this. Now, this is a this is those four note major chords, but played with three notes. So we're going to be using the bottom three notes. So for, for C major, the notes will be three on E, three on A, and two on D. There's really lovely, thick melodic chord. And if you want to play D major, just move that same chord shape two frets up. So that Blasher Griff, normal E power chord, C major played with this inversion. Back to E, to D, with the same inversion. Now that last part is turning a major chord into a suspended chord. So th that D, as we know, the notes are 5-5-4. Five, five, For people who are more interested in music theory, the actual notes that I'm playing are A, 
D and F sharp and all I'm doing is adding in my little finger so the notes now are 5 5 5 or A D and G and it's a little med le medley Um, it more also do, do another thing with their majors and minor chords Which is where they add an extra root note the octave from The root note of the chord So going back to our minor dyad here in E 7th fret on A 5th fret on D I'm adding in my little finger on the ninth fret of G And here I'm playing a G major chord, played a bit differently. The notes are 10, 9, and 12 on the A, 10 on A, 9 on D, and little finger on the 12th fret of G. That second chord I played is just that E minor shape. Move two frets up to F sharp minor. Um, what's that riff? That riff in one by one is all major. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy riff that one. Yeah, so Immortal do that. And we can extend these chords even further. This is quite this is gonna be quite a long video. Um, to bar chords. You know, you can use any of those major or minor bar chord shapes. Um, you can easily look these up online. I wanna really just focus on um, the ones that are mostly used, which are the minor ones. Malfita is just one minor chord moved around for you know fucking hell most of the song really. So what I what the chords are you know you've got a D minor chord D minor bar chord I think they add in the low E as well it's just like the other uh, major and minor minor triads that we made and the power chords so the notes for that would be on low E, from low E to high E, five, five, seven, seven, six, five. And that makes a D minor chord. The important thing with bar chords is your wrist technique. Try, um, it, you have to keep your wrist out so you have enough space for your hand to grip all the strings. Keep your first finger as straight as possible and curve the rest of your fingers round. So using right at the tips of your fingers. So move it up to the E flat. So it's moving that same minor chord shape up in the next part. Just move it down a fret. Um, You know, very, very common sound. Um, how did it go again? Um, the first song of anthems. Ye in Transipirium by Emperor. E to F. With the open E thrown in the middle. Um, now another way you can play minor chords is when your root note's on E. If you don't, if you don't know what a root note is, the root note is the main note of the chord, 
So if I were to say D minor, for example, the root note would be D. Now we're playing A, the root note is A, which is the fifth fret on E. Now if you're not sure how to play that, what I'm fretting is 5, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5 from E, well, low E to high E. Um, what's that Burzum song? Uh... Don't call high. Three chords. Starting with G minor. So this note's a G here, third fret on low E. To the F sharp, which is one fret down. Back to G. To a normal E minor. It's very simple. Black metal is very, very, very simple. Now, extending some of these minor chords, we can add in something called the ninth to create really nice open sounds, and you can use them with your power chords. So your riff could go. The quickest way I can explain this is if you take your power chord, three note power chord, I'm playing E, 7, 9, 9 from A to G, I'm extending my little finger up two frets, so the uh, frets would be 7, 9 and 11, 7 on A, 9 on D, 11 on G. Really, really cool sound. Um, the only riff I can think of at the top of my head that does it, which is one of, the, which is that break section before the fast blast part in Lost in Curse of Reverence, but Isan moves the chord around. We can add the ninth to our minor chords. So we take E minor here, or we just discussed a couple couple minutes ago. Again, the frets seven nine nine eight seven from A to high E. Extend our little finger out. Your minor nine chords. And you can apply the exact same thing to the other minor chord shape, going back to A minor, extend your little finger out, two frets. And they're a nice way to add some movement to your chord progression. That even for single note chords. Little things like that. Um, so let's finish up this lesson because it's nearly like 20 minutes long for fuck's sake. So as well as all those chords I showed you, experiment. For example, if you just take an old power chord and say, hey, I want to extend my little finger out by three frets. And you might think, hey, that sounds kind of cool. What about if I play my E power chord, the ninth, and this new chord here, hey, that sounds kind of cool. if you want to take your normal 
a three note minor chord and you want to move this uh, G note here, the fifth fret on D, if you want to move that down to the fourth fret and you like the sound of that and you come up with a nice chord to um, play afterwards definitely do it there's no there's no rules here everything I teach you um, can be learned and unlearned and molded which is fine because this is all about creativity here. I'm trying to teach you to create your own good interesting black metal riffs instead of just moving you know one power chord shape down a few times which is just getting so dated and boring these days. And uh, use any, any genre to influence your playing, any kind of music or anything, um, use anything to inspire you to create black metal riffs or even whatever music you want to make. So on that note, I hope these chords can be used and applied to the music you're playing and if there's for example well, if there's a riff that you've already made that you really like maybe try using some of these shapes instead and see which one sounds best for you <laughs>